and loves welcome back to my channel for those of you who don't know me my name is Katya for those of you who do welcome back before I get into the whole video I wanted to say a big big thank you to everyone for the overwhelming love and support you gave me on my launch for Koakaya. I am beyond grateful for all your comments your feedback your positive encouragement I am so touched and you have no idea how much that means to me. The fact that you actually appreciate my creations. I am really working hard on everybody's order to try to get it out as fast as I can. Obviously, I'm a one-woman show. I'm pretty much sewing, doing all of it, packing, answering emails, all of that fun stuff, and trying to keep up with my DIY projects. I recently did something. I revamped a little bit of my DIY room. I don't know if you guys remember. I had this whole gallery wall, and it was beautiful. I liked it while it was there but I started off just wanting to clean my DIY room and tidy it up and for some reason I end up changing a little bit of things to maybe organize myself so I end up taking down that whole gallery wall it was starting to be a lot in this DIY room and I just wanted things to be a little bit more lighter and brighter so I end up taking that wall out but the wall was very plain there was nothing going on so I needed some sort of wall art there and when I received my pots, I ended up using these little vases, which are available on Koakaya. When I received them, I had laid them out, all of them on my dining table. And when I saw them, they looked so beautiful all together next to each other. And I immediately thought of a wall art. And I immediately started thinking, how can I create something that can display them as art? At first, I wanted to put them downstairs in my dining room, but I end up not putting them there. I end up putting them in my DIY room. I went to Winners. I had a gift card my father-in-law had given me for Christmas. I was on a mission to find a frame and I saw this beautiful wood carved frame it had a mirror in it but i looked in the back and it it had screws that you can take the mirror apart so i knew immediately that this was the frame i wanted what i wanted to create with this frame is sort of like an artwork using the vases and i wanted to display them as if they were art so i thought shelves and i thought putting a frame around it to frame them in make them a little bit more like an art piece so this is what I came up with. This is the DIY. It's not a huge complicated DIY. It's something that doesn't take very long. Well, I mean, it takes time, but it's not the worst DIY I've ever done. It's fairly quick and easy once you get the wood cut, I mean. I love how it turned out. It displays my beautiful vases. I also put some of my handmade bowls there. I put some vases, but you can totally put whatever it is that you want to display or create a beautiful artwork with. It can be bowls, it can be other types of vases. There's so many ways that you can make your own little artwork on your wall. I end up using my vases. I think that those are the best little vases i told you many times i think that small pieces are just as important as the big ones they fill out those little gaps they give that perfect high low effect anyway this is what today's video is going to be all about i wanted to put it out there because i do think that it gives you guys an idea to create something make it your own you can use different frames i end up getting mine at winners but you can go to the thrift store and get yours or even find it on Facebook Marketplace. Without further ado, we're gonna jump right into this video. Enjoy.
I hope you enjoyed this DIY. I am working on another DIY for you guys. So stay tuned for the next video. I also wanted to point out a lot of you asked me about my jewelry and what I'm wearing in my intro. I had shared with you my earrings on Koakaya and one of them was my Ray earrings. I had mentioned that you can put it also on the top. I just wanted to show you what I meant. I have a hole here on the top of my ear. I think that putting a Ray right here adds a little elf kind of look and I love it. I think it looks beautiful on the upper part if you do have a hole there like me. If not, you can totally wear it at the bottom here. If you're not a big fan of the big ray, I also have smaller rays that I think are just beautiful, a little bit more dainty and a little bit less out there. So I wanted to show you how I end up wearing the ray on the top. This is what I meant. I'm also wearing my snake earrings here. I think it creates the perfect ear candy. I love mixing my gold and silver together. So I thought that this just was the perfect look for my ear today and i'm also wearing my eye necklace here like this the gold one and then i added some layering effect with other necklaces which i believe these are gold. they're like sort of the snake simple i have it in silver and gold i love layering my necklaces i think it adds dimension i am also wearing my hat band as my belt today you have seen these i talked about them they're one of my favorites they are so beautiful. So I am wearing it as a belt. So anyway, and my blazer, Zara, I got this during the holidays. Actually, I got it before the holidays. Um, I wanted this blazer because I just thought it was so beautiful. It was me. It actually is a set. It comes with pants. I ended up wearing this outfit for my husband's Christmas party. And then my hat, I'm not too sure where I got it. I will leave the link down below. Anyway, I wanted to give you the whole look of what I'm wearing because I know a lot of you ask. Again, thank you all so much for your love, your support, for Kuakaya and also for my channel. All your beautiful messages that I got saying that I matter and I mean, they melted my heart they mean everything to me and it's the reason why i do this it's the reason why i want to create so anyway a big thank you i love you all and i will see you in my next video bye guys Mwah.